The Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community and the Politics Crash Course presents the Mike Pompeo Biography, born 1963. Mike Pompeo, a previous three-term U.S. congressman from Kansas, ended up being director of the Central Intelligence Agency and after that U.S. Secretary of State under President Donald Trump. Who is Mike Pompeo? Born and raised in Southern California, Mike Pompeo participated in the U.S. Military Academy at West Point and spent five years in active service. After finishing from Harvard Law School, he ran two services in Kansas, before making election to the very first of three House terms in 2010. The conservative Pompeo ended up being understood for his hawkish positions on national security, including his opposition to the Iran nuclear accord and assistance of security programs. After at first joining President Donald Trump's administration as CIA director in January 2017, he was confirmed as U.S. Secretary of State in April 2018. Early Life and Career Michael Richard Pompeo was born on December 30, 1963, in Orange, California, to parents Wayne and Dorothy. He matured in Santa Ana and attended Los Amigos High School in Fountain Valley, where he was a member of the university basketball team. Pompeo enrolled at the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York, graduating initially in his class with a degree in mechanical engineering in 1986. He followed with five years of active duty in the U.S. Army, functioning as a cavalry officer in East Germany and increasing to the rank of captain. Accepted to Harvard Law School, Pompeo ended up being editor of the Harvard Law Review and made his J.D. in 1994. Pompeo began his civilian career at the Williams & Connolly Law Practice in Washington, D.C., where he primarily operated in tax litigation. He relocated to his mother's house state of Kansas in 1996 and co-founded Thayer Aerospace, which expanded to more than 400 staff members within a decade. Pompeo then became president of Century International, an oilfield devices production, distribution and service company. Kansas Congressman Pompeo was elected to the very first of three terms in Congress in November 2010, representing Kansas's 4th District. Along with joining the House Committee on Energy and Commerce and the Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, he became commonly known for his financial and social conservatism and outspoken stances on a number of concerns. Benghazi Following the fatal 2012 attacks on the American diplomatic substance in Benghazi, Libya, Pompeo was named to your home Select Committee on Benghazi. The Kansas congressman was greatly critical of Barack Obama and then Secretary of State Clinton's handling of events, noting on a Meet the Press look in 2015 that this is even worse, in some ways, than the Watergate scandal. When the committee delivered its final report in June 2016, Pompeo co-authored a blistering addendum that decried the failure of management. Iran Nuclear Accord Pompeo emphatically opposed the 2015 nuclear offer struck in between Iran and six world powers, in which sanctions would be lifted on the Middle Eastern nation in exchange for new monitoring procedures and the restricting of enrichment centers. The following year, Pompeo argued in an op-ed piece for Fox News that the deal was not making things any more secure, and prompted the U.S. to ignore this offer. Mass surveillance in 2015, when the Senate voted to end the Patriot Act arrangement that granted the National Security Agency access to the phone data of millions of Americans, Pompeo was among those who insisted the nation was doing away with a valuable tool to combat terrorism. He penned an op-ed piece in the Wall Street Journal the following January which argued that robust security, making use of a range of technical and human intelligence and supported by rigorous examination of all leads, is the very best way to mitigate the risk, and presented the Liberty Through Strength Act to bring back the NSA's access to important records. Guantanamo Bay and Security Pompeo has opposed the closing of the military prison at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where numerous thought terrorists have actually been held. Observing detainees on a craving strike throughout a visit in 2013, the congressman noted that it appeared like a great deal of them have put on weight, and he later called their strike a political stunt. Similarly, he has been outspoken in defending the sort of interrogation practices carried out at Guantanamo Bay and in other places. In response to the release of the Senate Intelligence Committee report on CIA torture in 2014, he provided a declaration that read, our males and females who were tasked to keep us safe in the aftermath of 9-11, our military and our intelligence warriors are heroes, not pawns in some liberal video game being played by the ACLU and Senate Intelligence Committee Chairman Dianne Feinstein. These men and women are not torturers, they are patriots. If any individual did operate outside of the program's legal structure, I would expect them to be prosecuted to the complete extent of the law. Food labeling. 
Following the passage of laws in some states that needed the obligatory labeling of foods with genetically modified organisms GMOs, Pompeo presented the Safe and Accurate Food Labeling Act of 2015 to stem its passage in other places, based on the property that it would drive up expenses. Precisely zero pieces of credible proof have been presented that foods produced with biotechnology present any danger to our health and wellness, the congressman said. We need to not raise rates on consumers based on the desires of a handful of activists. Critics blasted Pompeo for favoring the preferences of powerful agribusinesses like Monsanto over the rights of consumers. Regardless, the costs passed by a 275 to 150 vote in your home in July 2015. U.S. Secretary of State. Nomination and confirmation. Following months of a reported rift in between President Trump and his Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, Trump revealed by means of Twitter on March 13, 2018, that he was calling Pompeo to take over the State Department. As director of the CIA, Mike has actually made the appreciation of members in both celebrations by enhancing our intelligence event, updating our defensive and offensive abilities, and building close ties with our buddies and allies in the global intelligence community, said a statement distributed by the White House. He will continue our program of restoring America's standing in the world, strengthening our alliances, confronting our enemies, and looking for the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. The president apparently decided to make the modification in order to have a new group in location before a planned top with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in the spring. In a corresponding relocation, it was announced that Gina Haspel would be promoted from deputy to CIA director, making her the first lady to hold the role. Ahead of his April 12 Senate verification hearing, Pompeo connected to lawmakers and every living previous Secretary of State, consisting of Hillary Clinton, whom he d previously criticized. Expected to deal with hard questioning, the nominee satisfied with his promises to follow the course of diplomacy with North Korea and Iran, firmly insisting as a previous army captain that war is constantly the last hope. However, he did encounter a skeptic in New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, who questioned whether Pompeo harbored antipathy toward Muslims. Although Kentucky's Rand Paul made headlines by fluctuating before his last-minute pledge to back Pompeo, the nominee ultimately received sufficient support from moderate Democrats to gather a beneficial review from the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. On April 26, 2018, he was confirmed to his new post as top U.S. diplomat by a count of 57 to 42 and sworn in nearly immediately later. North Korea's Kim Jong-un and Saudi Arabia Pompeo rapidly got to work by flying to Brussels, Belgium, to consult with NATO allies. He assisted set the table for President Trump's historical summit with Kim Jong-un in Singapore in June, and personally met with the North Korean leader in October to lay the groundwork for a second top. Around that time, the Secretary of State was thrust into the position of safeguarding U.S. relations with Saudi Arabia after the Washington Post writer Jamal Khashoggi was murdered at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, Turkey. Although the CIA reportedly concluded that Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman purchased the assassination, Pompeo minimized that assessment and said there was no tough proof connecting the Crown Prince to Khashoggi's death. Russia and Ukraine. In February 2019, Pompeo revealed that the U.S. was suspending the 30-plus-year-old Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty with Russia due to the Eastern Powers' inability to comply to terms. Russia's infractions put countless Europeans and Americans at higher risk, he stated, including, it is our duty to respond appropriately. That fall, the Secretary of State discovered himself in another controversial area when it was exposed he was on a July phone call in between Trump and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, throughout which time Trump pushed his equivalent to examine 2020 presidential prospect Joe Biden and his boy Hunter. Pompeo was then involved in efforts to work out a ceasefire with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan that allowed Kurdish forces to safely leave the area of a military operation in northeast Syria. China and coronavirus. Formerly entrusted with assisting to smooth relations with China over continuous trade conversations, Pompeo became a sharp critic of the Eastern power following the emergence of the novel coronavirus in late 2019. He accused China of trying to cover the outbreak and insisted there was strong evidence the virus had first infected a person in a Chinese lab, even as American medical experts like Dr. Anthony Fauci were dismissing that theory. Pompeo came under analysis in spring 2020 after it was reported that Trump had hearkened his demand to fire State Department Inspector General Steve Linick. With Linick thought to have been investigating Pompeo's alleged use of a staffer to run errands for him and his better half, critics called the shooting an act of political retaliation, though Pompeo insisted he was uninformed of the examination. CIA Director. On November 16, 2016, quickly after his Election Day victory over Clinton, President-elect Trump nominated Pompeo to run the Central Intelligence Agency. 
the election made headings, in part because Pompeo, known for his conservative viewpoints, would be asked to fill an outwardly nonpartisan function as CIA director. Throughout verification hearings, Pompeo looked for to distance himself from some of Trump's questionable views. He stated he agreed with the intelligence community's assessment that Russia had tried to interfere in the U.S. presidential election, which he did not endorse making use of waterboarding during interrogation. Pompeo was confirmed to the post by a 66-32 vote, and sworn in as director of the Central Intelligence Agency on January 23, 2017. As head of the CIA, Pompeo provided daily intelligence instructions to President Trump on matters associated with the nuclear threat from North Korea, cyber warfare from China and Russia and terrorist activity spreading out from the Middle East. He rearranged the bureaucracy to have the counterintelligence team report directly to him, and pushed to broaden espionage and concealed operations. In his role, Pompeo straddled a fragile line in between supporting his unstable manager and taking the middle ground. As President Trump participated in a progressively hostile back-and-forth interaction with Kim Jong-un, which included the risk to rain fire and fury on North Korea, Pompeo firmly insisted that war was preventable, while at the same time keeping in mind that the U.S. couldn't merely stay idle as the rogue nation established its nuclear arsenal. In September 2017, Pompeo made headlines by cancelling an arranged appearance at Harvard University. It was believed to be the outcome of his university's offer of a checking-out fellowship to Chelsea Manning, who served a jail sentence for dripping categorized details. Quickly after Pompeo and another previous CIA leader cancelled their appearances, Harvard rescinded its offer to Manning. Personal life. Pompeo and his wife Susan, a local of Wichita, Kansas, have one child, Nick. The Pompeos have actually been involved in their community by serving on charitable boards of directors and teaching Sunday school at their church.